Did you know that there's an emoji consortium? It approves and accepts every emoji, making them accessible across all devices. And that's what makes them usable in Airtable. And what a great tool they are making things easier in your workflow. Welcome to Tool Tips, where every week we discover new and surprising ways to use Airtable. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use emoji to help guide your team around your Airtable base. When you're working with the team, clarity is key. And emoji are an efficient way to communicate information. Left folks know that a field is tied to an automation with the lightning bolt emoji. Guide your team to the views they need by emoji coding your view sidebar. Or build a formula to dynamically display the right emoji so next steps are always clear. First, we'll cover how and where you can add emoji in Airtable. Then I'll show you how to display different emoji based on conditions to uplevel your formulas. And finally, we'll let our imaginations and our emoji go a little wild. Adding emoji to your Airtable base is simple. The easiest way is to access the emoji picker with a keyboard shortcut. That's command control space bar on Mac and windows key dot or windows key comma if you're using windows. From there, I can pick a nice construction emoji to let folks know that this field is a work in progress and shouldn't be used. You can use emoji pretty much anywhere in Airtable. Add emoji to single select options, view names, or within field values. Small tip here, you can set your base's icon to an emoji simply by making the first character in the title an emoji. Cute. You can also use emoji in formula fields showing a different emoji based on conditions in your record. Say I consider a project to be completed only when it's been approved and the mood board attachment field is not empty. I can add an if statement that checks whether the attachment field is missing and communicate what the next step should be when it's missing. I'm going to add a little more flair to my message by adding a nice bright red stop sign when it's missing. So it's clear that an extra step is needed here. You can use this method to uplevel any formula in your base. How about making the primary field I built last week even stronger? I can add in a handshake emoji to represent my active clients, meaning anyone who has a project linked to them. That way, when I'm scrolling through my client list, I can quickly get more information at a glance. We've got emojis, we've got formulas, there's no better time to go down the rabbit hole. Let's take a look at how far you can go with emoji in your base. The enterprising folks in the Airtable community created this formula that mixes math, the repeat function, and emoji to create a live progress bar. I'll link to those discussions in the description so you can dive deeper into how they built it and recreate it in your base. Now you don't need a consortium to decide what emoji are needed in your base. Drop us a screenshot in the comments of the emoji in your base and we'll delivery truck some swag your way. That's it for this episode of Tooltips. I'll see you back here next week.